Hello everyone, Jules here. Today I'd like to talk about my spiritual path and I'd like to talk about an aspect of my spiritual path that I have discussed in two or three videos before but I haven't made a video about this topic for quite a while and that is the aspect of my spiritual path that is solar based. So what I'm going to talk about is how I follow a solar based wheel rather than a lunar based wheel or a lunar based path. So I've written some points down here and I'll need to read my notes as usual, write handwriting. So the videos that I have made about this before have the title of Sun Goddesses and another one is Nature Spiritual Path and there is also a third video called Life Stages and that is to do with the uh, planet Saturn which is the Saturn return and I'm talking about astrologically in people's natal chart, the Saturn return, which is to do with life stages. So that video is called Life Stages, Planet Saturn and Tarot. And all three of those videos are on my Esoteric Path playlist for anyone who's interested. So beginning to talk about this, um, I'm talking about this today for a couple of reasons. I wanted to talk a bit more about my spiritual path anyway, but I also wanted to talk about this for people who feel that they're not exactly um, interested or linked in with uh, lunar-based lunar path. And I wanted to talk about my solar based path because this may be helpful to people who don't feel much of a connection with lunar phases, for example. Um, so I think this might be helpful to people who are not quite connecting with lunar phases or lunar observation and they want an earth based or nature-based path, but they don't know how they want to, how they're going to approach that if they choose something else. So, just from my perspective, and these are all my views about my own path. About nine years ago, I noticed that I started uh, developing a disconnect from a lunar-based observational path and that was a big change for me because I had been following a type of uh, goddess spirituality which was very lunar based and I followed that for about 15 years so it was a really long time and when I started to have this shift within myself and kind of like a shift in approach or a shift in consciousness. Um, it kind of threw me off quite a bit because I thought, well, what am I going to do now? Because that has been my main focus. What, what am I going to do? And it took me a number of months, I think it may have been nine months to a year, to kind of readjust and just realize what was happening and what was actually happening was that I was still a spiritual person and interested in earth changes through the year but I didn't realize that I was actually becoming more in tune with a solar based approach and by that, I mean the four seasons rather than the eight um, seasons of the eight wheel, the eight um, 
sabbats of the pagan wheel. So I was becoming kind of synchronised with the four seasons rather than this eight, um, eight sabbat wheel. So to kind of give you an example here of my with my little seasonal chart here, what I've been following for the last ten years is the main seasons of you know spring, summer, autumn, winter. And for me this connects with so much. I connect this with the suits of tarot. I connected with four life stages and I just I just connect everything with this four I, I suppose I call it the way of four that's what I think of it as so I think of I think of my path and my whole life in this way now so I'm going to show a few cards from the Gaian Tarot because the Gaian Tarot for me is quite a solar and earth-based um, deck. The Gaian Tarot by Joanna Pol Col Colbert. So if you have a look at the wheel card in the deck, she's actually got these four seasons here. You know, she's got spring, summer, autumn and winter. She's got the four spokes of the wheel here. And she's actually got the zodiac solar astrological changes of the year here as the sun progresses through the signs. So even though the phases of the moon are included, I personally do not observe those. They, I just don't relate to them as much anymore. I will take note of eclipses and I am a qualified astrologer. I take note of eclipses and, and by this I mean according to my own personal path. But the phases of the moon, no, they, they just don't resonate with me. They just don't anymore. For the last 10 years, they don't resonate with me. And so what was happening, for the first 15 years of my path, it, this was very lunar based, which for me was to do with the High Priestess card. This is connected with the moon, according to the Golden Dawn Associations. So this was the path that I had for the first 15 years. Which was actually beneficial and important to me. But what I didn't realize, what I didn't know was that I was in this hanged man transition And this is this has a very autumn kind of focus in this card and that's in some ways this is a shamanic card too. And I'm kind of like this as well. I have transitioned over to the solar based path. But spiritually this is like a kind of shamanic path for me. And I didn't realise that I was going from the high priestess type of spirituality to a solar goddess focus. This is the strength card from the Gaian Tarot. So this is very different to the high priestess type of emphasis. The High Priestess emphasis will always be in the background for me, but this is how I have 
adjusted and it's like I've, I have learnt a different approach, I have learnt a different way of living and looking at things. And there is a book that influenced me quite a bit too. This is The Gaia Tradition by Kisma Stepanich. And the subtitle is Celebrating the Earth in Her Seasons. This book is divided into the four seasons. It does include the Celtic Sabbaths, the lunar kind of Sabbaths. But the emphasis in this book is that the lunar Sabbaths and the Celtic Sabbaths are contained within the solar approach and the earth approach. So just to show you a diagram I'm really following this this four division type of year. It's a little bit like the medicine wheel, but it's not quite the same as that either. So this is to do with the solstices and the equinoxes, only following those four turning points of the year. And the interesting thing about this book is that it does have a connection with the Guy and Tarot because Joanna Powell Colbert um, actually did the black and white illustrations in this book. one here. So the Gaia tradition has been an influence as well. So this ties in also with astrology for me because the astronomical, this is called the astronomical year, it begins at the zero point of Aries. These are the four cardinal signs that determine the four seasons of the year, which is zero degree of Aries. That is in the Northern Hemisphere, that is the beginning of spring. So these cardinal zero points are to do with the four seasons. That fits in for me with astrology and it fits in for me with my whole approach. Observing solstices and equinoxes. So you've got the summer and winter solstice, the autumn and spring equinoxes. And my approach of dividing things into four instead of eight, I, like I, I said, I associate this with life stages. So instead of having the trinity of maiden mother crone, I have, for my sun goddesses, I have maiden, mother, or creatrix, elder, and crone. So I consider myself to be in the elder stage now, and my mother is in the crone stage. I see the elder stage at the second Saturn return, and I see the crone stage at the third Saturn return. So I see, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I see the lunar, <coughs> so sorry, I see the lunar as the inward path and I see the solar as the embodying with earth path. So the lunar is a very inward path, inward looking, 
and it's a developmental type of path. So I, I know it has its benefits, but it's like I've been there and done that. So for the last 10 years, I've been doing the solar path, which is, for me, more in embodying with the earth. So I have my solar goddesses and gods. For me, that's more balancing because I was just having lunar goddesses and just goddesses before. So I have solar goddesses and gods and earth goddesses and gods because I see the solar and earth together. And this is also compatible with my Kabbalah path. I know that may not be very easy to explain, but it is compatible with my Kabbalah path. Everything fits into my Kabbalah path as well. So that, that, that was very important to me and that had to all fit together because when I started my solar path, uh, it, it coincided with my, my beginning with my Kabbalah path. It, it coincided. So for me, the two are compatible. And as I was saying before with the hangman, there is a shamanic nature approach with this. I, I didn't realise that, that this is a shamanic type of solar path. And for me, the shamanic is very, that is my inward internal part of this. So I know a lot of people mainly associate shamanic path with, you know, the great outdoors. But for me, it's a psychological path. It's a psycho-spiritual path. So what I'm really kind of also saying here is that I have a solar and earth-centric path instead of a lunar-centric path. So that's what I, what I do. And I think for me, the solar path to me, for me, it represents the psychological present for me, but the lunar centric path represents the past for me, and, and the moon is associated with the past. So I have, I, did, I spent 15 years um, working with the lunar path to work with issues from the past and mainly mother issues. So that's what I used the lunar path, the lunar wheel for. But now I want to be in the psychological present and I want to be, I want something that is, uh, that involves embodiment and, and that kind of takes in the shamanic there too with the embodiment. But for me the solar path is far more empowering. So I, I really wanted something empowering. I was ready for empowering after 15 years of the lunar path. The lunar path was very healing and nurturing but I was ready for embodying and empowering that I get with the solar path. So this is a more integrated, I'm integrating, this is an integrated sun and earth path for me versus the lunar reflective past. So what my path is also about, I call it the path of four, in a way, but it's also known as quartering the circle. So I have the four elements, the four directions, four life stages that I mentioned before. So instead of just having body, mind and spirit, which is three, I have body, mind, 
heart and spirit. And, 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 and I think the heart is actually uh, associated with soul, the solar energy because the heart and the solar energy is associated with the sign of Leo. And the sun rules the sign of Leo and the heart is associated with the sign of Leo as well. So these are the main points I want to make about my solar path, my solar solar based wheel path. And I'm going to talk a bit more about this. I'll make at least another video because I want to talk about this a bit more and how this can apply psychologically as well as spiritually. So I've kind of outlined what my spiritual path is about this but I will very likely do another video because I want to talk about how this uh, can be approached psychologically as well. The whole idea of quartering the circle with a solar based wheel instead of a lunar based wheel path. So I hope that has been helpful to people talking about my solar based wheel path and I will put the details below the video about the Gaian Tarot and the Gaia Tradition book. And I just hope that this may inspire some other people to maybe review or think about their path. And without making this too gender specific, um, I think also from a female point of view, if you identify as a female, uh, just letting you know that you, you don't have to have a lunar based path because you identify as a female. It does not have to be lunar based. There, there are many solar goddesses and I also associate the solar goddesses with the earth goddesses as well. So I will put some details about those three videos that I mentioned as well that are on my playlist. And I hope this has been interesting and helpful for people. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.